Jeez, dude. Somebody really needs to do something about that beehive, man. Sometimes it's worse than others, but some days I literally feel like, how do people not get stung? Because it's just like a huge swarm and it's right on the sidewalk. And the worst part is Bailey always runs into those bushes and chases lizards, and she must have gotten stung by those bees like 30, 40, 69 times. And it's not fair, right, Bales? She's like, dude, I don't even know what that feeling is, but it really hurts. Look at this harness. It's so destroyed. It's got holes in it. I had to rip the pattern off because that was tearing, and now there's holes in the actual base of the harness, and it's all just ripping apart. Look at this. Big ol' bad boy hole. See it? Unacceptable. Right, Bales? And you're starting to look a little bit ghetto. And we're living in a nice town in Southern California, and you look ghetto, and that's just not acceptable, okay? So we're gonna go for a ride. We're gonna get you a new harness. Somebody tell me how this bears got so cute. Somebody tell me. I don't remember. Where are we? Do you know where we are? I think you do. We're at PetSmart. You love PetSmart. Yay. Woohoo. Yeah. This is going to be really tough with a big old bales. Wait. Hey. Wait a minute. Wait. I know you're excited. You got to wait. <laughs> oh, bales. You can't walk on this floor, can you? Come here. We gotta find you a harness, Bales. This is the leash that she has, and this one is broken. Cause there's this little thing right here, but I'm not spending 30 bucks, cause it still kinda works. So, I'm gonna ignore that for now. Oh, here's her harness. This is the exact one she had, but this one looks way smaller. It's a large suite, so we need to find Bales a large harness. Alright, Bells, pick a toy. Which one do you want? Which one? <laughs> Come here. Do you want the squirrel? Do you want the squirrel? Do you want to get the squirrel? Do you want to get it? Do you want to get it? Hey, go get it. Now give me that. Give her back. Give her back. Give her back. Now go get it. <laughs> now give her back. Give me that back. Come on. To the race car. Alright. Now, let's put it on. So, this is your new squirrel. Look. You better like it, Bales. You're never going to see it again. Toys R Us has gone out of business. And so, this is your last chance to have that squirrel from Toys R Us. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and retire the old harness. I know we've had so many good memories. I basically had this harness. Oops, sorry. I have to push you because you're stepping on it. I've had this harness the entire time that I've had Bales, pretty much. And it's done me well. So, I hope that this one does me well too. Um, I'm kind of worried it'll get dirty really easily because this is a different material. They didn't have any of these ones, which I really wanted because this material, it's really strong and it's pretty hard to get dirty. The only thing that can get dirty is the flowers, but this one's got all this like white stuff and light colored stuff on it. So, it probably won't last as long, but I did get it for a pretty good deal. It was only $27 for the harness and the little squirrel and it was supposed to be like 40 So, we got a good deal and we're going to put it on. Ready? Alright, check it out. We got this cute little harness with a bone on it, and Bales, you are looking mighty spiffy. And you know what's even cuter than that bone is that tongue that I want to grab. Let me, see, let me see that tongue. Let me see it. No, stay. Stay. Ready? I'm going to sneak up on her and grab it. Ready? Ha ha! Oh. Ha ha! Ha ha! Did you guys hear about this place? Rest in peace! Give it back! Give it back! Now go get it! And now give it back! Ah! And now I'm gonna have to go and get some boxes out of the Papa Pryuse that I got in my last video. And I said that I would open them on the Papa Club channel. I'm gonna do that right now. Alright, Bales. So, really quickly, what we gotta do so we can continue on vloggity vlogging is we need to unscrew this little screw. And basically, that's gonna allow me to remove this whole top piece. And then I got a new top piece right here all ordered up. That way I can attach my camera to that. Then I can hold this stupid tripod without it falling off, hopefully, because this is rated to be able to hold up my camera. And it didn't! It didn't, Bales, did it? No, it didn't. Okay, so really quick, I'm in the middle of working on this, and I see Bales over here chewing her brand new indestructible bone. And she's only had it for about one day. Her grandma bought it for her. Hey, Bales, let me see. Hey, stop. You can see it. See it's all messed up. 
She's already getting through it. So apparently it's indestructible. We're gonna see how long it lasts for. Finishing touches. This should be all good to go. Let's give it a test run. What do you think, Bales? Is it gonna work? Uh, I think it's gonna work. Let's see. All right. And attached. We got the popper right here. Look at that. We're back. We're back and ready to go with the puppy can. Oh man, that's perfect. Better than before, right? Right, Bells? Yeah, it's so much better. So much better. So much more control. All the control in the entire world. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go through this box of stuff that I was sent in from the most loyal subscriber in the world, who is completely unnamed because he didn't include his name in this package. Bales, what is the deal with that? All these letters. And he didn't even give me his name. Now he gave me this puppy fire sauce in this cool pouch. So this looks like a ANPVS 14 pouch, which is like night vision goggles. It's exactly the same as this. And I don't think that this is actually one of those. I don't really know what this is for, but this is basically a little pouch. You can put it on your flak jacket, which is a bulletproof vest, or like on your backpack or like whatever you want to do. And you can get some extra storage. And then this, which I think is pretty cool, is a Papa Clip. Hey, Jimmy! Tactical stocking. So it's like for the Christmas time, or you know, as I would use it for Halloween, because in Halloween, you know, I like when people put tacos on my stocking, and that's just always been my thing, you know, since 1942. And so I'm gonna be hanging this up on Halloween, and I'm probably gonna hang it on, you know, over here. You see this little this little nipple right there? You see it? Wait, let's let's get a little peek. There it is. I don't know. It's either gonna be the left or the right one of those I'm gonna hang it on. So it's gonna be a tough decision, but uh, we have till Halloween to think about it. Anyways, what else do we got? And also, by the way, these are like expensive, I think. So I don't know why you gotta be spending all this money on the Taco Papa and his addiction. But you know what? I'll say that uh, I'm really thankful about it. So we got this now, and it says, I also had the Taco Gym Association patch sewn from the front of a piece of Velcro. So he basically sewed this together. He got the patch, and then he sewed some Velcro on it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, man. Wow. I am going to get so much stuff from Santa Claus this Halloween, dude. I am so excited. So he only says one thing. He says, Happy New Year, amigos. And uh, I had one, and it said, like, Viva Godita. And then, I can't remember, I had one more and it said something else. But, this is pretty cool. And I, I mean, like, dude, like, how did you have this for so long? And I crossed his name out because I didn't want to put his letter in the video. But, this just has an address that I crossed out. There's no name here. So, there's definitely no name anywhere to be thanking you from, Mr. Taco Prof. Unless I'm just somehow missing it. But, I looked at everything, like, five times. Then we got this American flag, which was on the ground. So, I'm going to have to burn it in 2022 years. But, for now, I'm just going to kind of stare at it every once in a while and just feel patriotic about it. Then we got this 5-hour energy lanyard. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this around my neck for the rest of today's video. And then the other package we got in that video was from a guy named Boyd. Now, Boyd is a mailman, and his name is Boyd, a fun fact. And he sent me this Tacoville hot sauce, and it smelled like, dude, it smelled really hot. But I gotta say that I also found this very American coin that was sent to me in that last package. I forgot to go over that. And it's pretty cool, dude. I think it's like a challenge coin. I don't know what exactly it's for. It's not for like any specific military thing, but I figured I'd just kind of put it in my mouth. And, uh, yeah, it feels good in here. So I'll make sure to do that later. And uh, also, we got three letters that were taken out of the P.O. Box. I said that I was going to stop opening letters on the club channel, so I'm going to open them up on here. Bez, come here. Come on up. Let's go. Come. Let's go. Bez, I'm going to need you here to help me open these bad boys, or at least read them. All right, so this is from Mr. Alexander, and he says, thank you, Bez. He says, my name is Alexander, and I'm a middle schooler in Bangor, PA. I've been watching you for a while now in school. We were looking at possible career choices. I've noticed that you are a writer. So basically, he's been riding for about four or five years on the dirt, and it's about four or five years till he can get his motorcycle license. So he's just saying that he just can't wait to go up to people like Bales and be like, Hey, Johnny! How you doing, buddy? And then get a good old pop of fisty, right? Right, Bales? Good old pop of fisty. What do you think would help in succeeding with my career of motor vlogging? Well, make sure you start on a Suzuki Hayabusa GSXR 13000R. What should I do in school to get where I want to be? Well, I mean, if you're anything like me, you would get D's in all your classes, but that's probably not the smartest decision because you probably don't want to be like Papa Clip. Should I be interested in a job as well, or is this enough for one person to live on? Well, for me personally, it's enough to live on, but it's really rare that you can actually get to the point that I'm at. I got really lucky because I am, you know, my head's kind of like, it's kind of like an egg, right? And when you crack an egg, the egg leaks out, and it's not like it's supposed to be. And people like that, and my head is like that egg, so they like to watch the egg, and they like to crack it, and they like to think about eating my head. When should I start saving up for a bike? 1950. 
52. What kind of bike should I get? And are there a lot of bad roads? Even gravel roads. Yes, there are lots of bad roads, even gravel roads, especially not in California, but you know, in a lot of other states, there definitely are. Thank you for taking the time to read this from Mr. Alexander 5000. Man, I appreciate that. I appreciate you writing in, Papa Alex, and you know what? I hope you end up seeing this, because maybe you think I'm gonna put it on the Club channel, but I'm not. The Club, your channel makes me laugh. This is the first time reading the fan now, blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. Taco Bell, just kidding. My favorite thing is when you give people a weird look and hashtag fist bumps and hashtag, hey, Johnny, hashtag Taco Bell on your hashtag 1952 Sesame Style Edition Brick Wall. I love all of your bikes. I hope you like it, Taco Bell. Look at that. Taco Bell sent me this letter. I really appreciate it, Mr. Taco Bell. It was actually sent, though, by Papa Jeffrey. Thank you, Mr. Jeffrey from Sacramento. And Mr. Jeffrey sent me a Mr. Man. He's a cowboy, and he's made out of hot glue. Check it out. Hot glue cowboy Jeffrey. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes good. I'm not going to swallow the whole thing, but I'll swallow, I'll swallow a little piece. It's on my tongue. <sighs> I hope that's okay. Dear Clay, I haven't been watching you for long, but I've been watching you for short, and I think you're hilarious. How do you come up with the random stuff you say? You and Walter Riffick are my favorite moto vloggers. I want to get an R6 when I'm older. How much Taco Bell do you eat per day? Follow me on Instagram at BLT underscore IN underscore A underscore L A N. Have a nice day. He really said N O I C E. Eric P. P.S. I can't draw, so no picture. Sorry. Wow. Well, let's see if this one tastes good. It tastes like paper. Well, thank you so much for sending in those letters. If you want to see more letters featured on this channel, this is where they're going to go and uh, spread the news if you're thinking they're going to go on the club. Well, I said it twice. I tried to get the word out there that they weren't going to be out there anymore. And uh, you know what? If you didn't hear it by now, then you know you're a toucan. So I got this here deadly taco burrito, whatever it is, and I'm going to put this deadly hot sauce onto it. Oh, man, I'm kind of scared. Oh, no. Oh, man. All right. Well, I put like a, a little bit on because I'm kind of scared. All right, so. <sighs> Bell's just here. She's like, yo, what are you doing, ma'am? Oh, no, there's a big puddle in there, and I'm still going. Okay. All right, you see all that? There's a big old puddle. You can't see it. There's a big puddle in here. This is stupid. This is dumb. All right. Oh, man. <sighs> okay, so it's been about a minute. And it's really not bad at all. This 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 isn't even bad, dude. Why does this smell so hot? It smells like really spicy, but it, it's not. This is this isn't this is weak stuff. Weak stuff, man. Hey guys, how you doing? Hello. Hi. Let's go outside. Go. Come on, Elvis. Yeah, watch out. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to grab Chaplin by the collar because he's like always afraid of everything and you have to bring him over and he'll go pee. So you have to drag him over and basically just hold him here or else he won't go. I don't know why. He's a funny guy. I can't imagine you being aggressive, Elvis. You're just so nice. Yeah. I can imagine you possibly being aggressive, but he's apparently not. It's just the weirdest thing ever. Dude, it's so hot. We're going to go inside. Oh, hi. Okay. All right. Hi, bud. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice to see you too. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye, bye. Bye, Elvis. You're blurry. Bye, Chaplin. Nice to see you. Thanks for the licks. See you Wednesday. Sit. Stay. Good girl. Go get it. Oh, that's a good girl. All right, so these puppy bad boys are done. I know I didn't actually show myself making them, but that's because I realized that this vlog is already kind of long. I guess I don't really have to do a whole lot of stuff in each vlog here. It's already 10 minutes because it's already 12 minutes I've been editing it. But I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to end it with this good old rooster boy once again. Take a look. I hope you'll tune in next time for some more Papa Club in the Papa Club Nation. 500,000. Ready? Set? Goodbye. Say goodbye, Mr. Rooster. Brrr.